Hi, welcome to your demonstration of Matter 365. We're a full featured legal practice management software that is fully integrated with your Office account. While other cloud based practice management solutions talk about uh, integration, we actually mean that we're fully integrated. And in that, we create a Matter centric organization to your Office environment. So anytime you create a new matter in Matter 365, we're actually going to create a matter-specific team on Microsoft Teams, a matter-specific inbox and calendar in Outlook, matter-specific plan and planner, matter-specific folder in OneDrive, and matter-specific notebook in OneNote, a new site on SharePoint for that matter. We've got a deep integration with QuickBooks Online for easy invoicing and accounting, and we're managing it all through Office 365 groups. So when you first log into Matter 365, you'll hit the main dashboard where we present um, a number of summary information. You have recently opened Matters, your task status, which is coming out of Microsoft Planner, important links to your Microsoft applications. We also have a conflict check, which I'll get to later in the demo, as well as a time summary. So you can see how many hours you've docketed today, this week, this month, and this year. But where the Matter-centric organization really shines through is at the Matter dashboard level. So I'll take you to the Matter dashboard for this Dun & Mills matter, which we set up as a simple litigation matter, uh, civil litigation. Uh, you've got your matter details that you set up when you first open the matter. You'll identify who the client is, responsible attorney, as well as the owners and members. The owners and members are going to be people within your firm who need access to the matter, as well as the underlying data in the matter. Uh, if they're not listed as an owner or member, they will actually won't even see this matter in Matter 365, nor will they have access permission to access any of the underlying data. So it also acts as a permission-based control system. Um, some other information that we have is recently opened documents, so you can quickly pick up where you left off. Your task status, again, this is coming out of Microsoft Planner. Um, important links. Uh, these important links will take you to those matter-specific spaces that we've set up for each of these applications. Uh, and some high-level billing and invoicing information that we're pulling out of our QuickBooks. Uh, what most lawyers deal with on a day-to-day -day basis are documents. And the way we help you manage your documents is through uh, OneDrive organization as well as some Matter 365 specific uh, functionality. So if we click on the Document tab, we can see here this is our view into your OneDrive. Uh, we can see all the folders and all the documents you have saved. Uh, in addition to uh, the regular search functionality, we also give you the ability to tag documents. Now, these are free form tags that you can apply any way you want. Uh, you can apply multiple tags to documents, and then you can then filter by tags to see those documents that are related to your client and perhaps those that are also related to contract. And you can use that to filter down to the document that you're looking for. Uh, we also give the ability within our document tab to not only create new folders and new documents from scratch, but also work from precedents. Once you've uploaded your uh, precedents and templates into the template folder, you can actually access them directly from the, the matter-specific OneDrive that you're working in, and you can create them and save them directly into the matter that you're working in. Uh, if you want to get some additional, the OneDrive additional functions, uh, you can just click here to click on OneDrive document library, and that's going to open up into OneDrive for the Dun & Mills matter. And here you can get the OneDrive features where you can actually uh, share links to documents as opposed to emailing documents to people. You can share a link and they will actually access that version of the document from your cloud-based OneDrive library, uh, which allows for um, more seamless collaboration because you can actually do simultaneous editing of documents and because you're actually sharing links to documents you may have some questions about version control but OneDrive has automatic version history as well so anytime that document has been opened and modified it's going to record who did it uh, and when and it's also going to save it as a new version you can go back and restore these old versions you can open them to compare them to the current version you can also delete them um, so it gives you much better control over your documents uh, than you probably are used to. The next way that we help you organize uh, yourself is with your M or so with Microsoft Outlook. And we organize your emails in a way so that you can actually reduce the amount of bloat that you have to your inbox. Currently, most people, if they're working in a firm or work with a few others, they will CC everybody on, on the file whenever they send an email or they'll forward a copy of an email anytime they receive it. And this results in you getting 30 or 40 emails a day, at least, of things that don't require you to take any action, but they just sit there because you need to know about them. 
So we sought to avoid that sort of email bloat but by creating group folders. Uh, and these Outlook group folders actually act as shared inboxes. So everybody who is an owner or member of the Matter and Matter 365 is going to get access to the shared inbox. And the way that you generally work with them is if you get an email that needs to be saved to a Matter, we can use the Matter 365 add-in. Quickly search for the Matter that you want to save it to, select it, and then just hit store email. And what's happening is it's forwarding a copy of this email into the the shared inbox so everybody you know it's gonna everybody knows that you've received it and in addition to that if there are any attachments to that email it's automatically pulling them off and saving into the attachment folder in your OneDrive so if we go back to OneDrive into the Dun and Mills matter click on the attachments we can see that that document has been saved just a few seconds ago so it's actually a great way to get those documents out of your inbox, out of your Outlook, and into the OneDrive cloud library where it's accessible to everybody. Uh, in addition to saving emails the way that you would normally, uh, instead of CCing everybody on the email, you can, I didn't spell my name correctly, uh, quickly and easily just CC the group. So every matter uh, will have its own email address and then this way you can actually uh, by sending an email rather than CCing everyone in your firm you simply CC the group and then everybody knows to check there uh, whether they want to see what's been happening on the on the matter or not. And we can see both the emails that I forwarded in uh, as well as that test email are here in the group. But we also give you the ability because we're, we're using the native functionality of Outlook even when you're in uh, this group folder, you still have the ability to reply to the emails, to forward it, to do any other actions you normally take care of. You can search this folder uh, and you're going to still have the ability to get the reader pane on the right. And again, it's going to group these by, uh, uh, it'll group the emails as well. Um, so it gets all that native functionality of Outlook while having it organized in a matter specific way. The one other thing that our plugin does is that it acts as a, a stopwatch. So for those of you who still use the billable hour, you can actually keep track of your time. And this add-in we have not only for Outlook, but also for Excel, PowerPoint, uh, and Word. So no matter where you're working, you'll have access to the stopwatch. So if you're receiving an email, you're doing some work on it, you can start the timer to track your time. But we also know you're not going to spend your entire day in Outlook and you're not going to spend just on one particular matter just sitting in Outlook. So we've actually synchronized the timers across all our devices. So no matter where you start the timer, you can stop it wherever you end the work. And the first time that you stop a matter, or sorry, stop a timer, it's going to ask you to associate it with a matter and that's going to bring up a default billing rate. This, these can be set globally for every matter or you can set them on a per matter basis. You also have the ability to increase it or decrease it while you're entering the time. Uh, we can give the leads litigation codes if that's something that you work with. Uh, we also have the ability to track by time span and or duration. So if you know that you started uh, this task or you were in court at a certain time to a certain time, you can actually just put the time span in and we'll calculate the duration for you. And then you put your docket information here and hit save. And once you hit save, that's now going to be stored in your time tracking tab, which I can show you here. Uh, so all the activity that you've done uh, will be stored here in the time tracking. And anything that is unbilled, and essentially anything without a invoice number, can be started up again. So if you're working on your Dun & Mills matter and you get a call from Ms. Conway, you can actually quickly start up her timer, start tracking your time that you spent on the phone with her, and then when you're done speaking with her, pause that timer and go back to working on your Charles Dunn. And when you're done and ready to invoice, this is where our integration with QuickBooks comes in. You can quickly hit create invoice. And all that has to happen here is you pick the matter, pick the activities you want to bill. So again, we'll bill our invoice or invoice uh, that one entry from today. You can toggle between home and billing. 
pick this default hours and sales will be uh, set up with your integration with QuickBooks because we're in Canada we actually have taxes uh, but if that's that's going to be set up based on your jurisdiction so if you don't have taxes on legal services that won't show up uh, we also have the ability to insert trust account information so if you're working from a retainer you can put that information on the invoice so the client knows uh, and once this is ready to go we can also apply a discount as a percentage of value um, but when we're ready this invoice is ready to go out we have two options save it as a draft or sync it to quickbooks i'll save it as a draft quickly to show you uh, how we sync it to quickbooks afterwards so this is going to launch our invoices page and once it shows up we'll see that all of the invoices that we've sent uh, the one we just created obviously does not have an invoice number because it's only in draft status but once we can a, we can go back to edit it, we can delete it, which put all those time entries back into unbuild. But once we're ready to sync it, all we have to do is click on this paper airplane. And now we're synchronizing or syncing that invoice with QuickBooks so that all the information on there and it's going to come back with an invoice number for QuickBooks. And then once we're ready to send that information, or sorry, send that invoice, all we have to do is click on the envelope. And we're now we're sending instructions to QuickBooks to email that on or that invoice to your client. Uh, you will have set up in, in QuickBooks if you haven't done already what that invoice template looks like, uh, look and feel, adding your logo and your address and your name, and now it's been sent out. So we really tried to simplify how uh, you basically track your time. We also have the ability to track expenses for any out-of-pocket expenses for photocopying, filing costs, uh, couriers. Uh, those can be easily added to invoices as well. So we really tried to simplify what it takes for a lawyer to track their time, track their invoices, create in, or uh, track expenses, create invoices, and then send those out to their client. Uh, and we're doing all of this through QuickBooks, but we're actually even logged into QuickBooks to get it. Uh, we have the ability to quickly and easily record payments as well. And these can be done based on either normal payments through cash, credit card, check or we can actually apply trust funds as well and again we're setting up trust funds properly in the back end of QuickBooks so that you can track uh, every client's individual dollars uh, and cents um, even though it's being put into your mixed trust or your IOLTA account um, and that's basically the invoicing so the last feature I'd like to take you to is the conflict check uh, it really draws together the benefits of having everything in your Microsoft Office environment. Um, normally, as you're searching for conflicts, most people would search through their contacts, maybe search through their matters to see if that person has come up before. Uh, but because we're doing everything in your Microsoft Office environment, we're actually allowing you to also search through your documents, search through your mail, search through your group emails, your calendar events, your planner tasks, your time tracking, and even expenses. Uh, and because everything's stored in OneDrive, the, you'll actually be able to do a full text search of all your documents. I had a, uh, another customer who I was providing training for who was a personal injury client, uh, did a search for uh, a prospective new client, and it turns out that that new client was a nurse who provided care to one of their prior clients. Um, but they found it on page 220 of a 350-page PDF report. Uh, because anything that's put into OneDrive that has an automatic uh, OCR or opt optical character recognition analysis on it, um, so it'll have, even be able to find things in PC in PDF documents as well as JPEG images. Um, we're not going to tell you obviously whether this is a conflict or not, but you can see all the feature or all the places where that search may come up. Uh, it acts as a very powerful conflict search uh, that would allow you to. Uh, search through every part of your Microsoft Office environment. So thank you very much for uh, the demonstration. I would be happy to go through uh, more of the features in a more customized demo. If you go to matter365.com, click uh, book a demo, uh, and I can take you to all the features as well as the reports, the expense tracking, uh, as well as um, how we work with Planner, OneNote, uh, and Teams. Thank you. Have a great day.